everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house. Got my coffee over there, and I've got this a breakfast essentials powder chocolate stuff. And I've been adding that to my coffee every morning, so it's kind of like a mocha java with, you know, nutrients and whatnot, because I've been skipping breakfast, and I know that's bad for me, and that may be part of the reason why I, I get low on energy. So I'm having my breakfast at the same time I have my coffee. And so, well, let's see how it went last night with the fire. I have lit a fire, and it drew back in just the way it's supposed to. Let me just open this. Might get a little smoke at first, very carefully. See that? The smoke is going underneath like it's supposed to. Yay. That's all it was. Dirty pipes. Dirty pipes! Look at that. Absolutely zero smoke is coming in. It's all going up towards the back of the firebox and up the pipe. Phew. Thank goodness that's all it was. Oh my goodness, somebody just came up to my front door, came all the way up to the front door, and people never do that, and knocked on my door. It was this really pretty lady with this long blonde hair, and she had a big box in her hands, and I'm like, are you the UPS guy? And I'm like, oh, you can just put it down on the porch because Judy tries to rent out, and she says that they had delivered it to her up the road at, well, they put the wrong address, um... The, the last digit was wrong, but she says, are you sweet, Anne? And I'm like, okay, <laughs> now I know. Now I know this had to have come from the ladies who got together. So, I mean, it's a, it's a big box. Let me show you. Look, look how big it is. <laughs> and she said it was delivered like two or three days ago and she just now got around to bringing it up here and she parked all the way down at the end of the drive and she carried this big old thing so you know what there is no better time than the present to ch -ch. <laughs> oh it's a big box this is gonna burn great in the fireplace let's see what it is <laughs> sweet Anne <laughs> to sweet Anne that is so funny okay Moment of truth. You guys are going to die laughing. Oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. All right, let me turn this camera around and I'm going to show you what it is. Look at this. Look at this. It's a thing of insulation. <laughs> right on. Well, you know what? It is a rainy day today. It is a gosh darn rainy day today. I mean, it is just cold and damp. It's going to be rainy all day. So you know what I think I need to do? I don't know. Bake some cookies? <laughs> I need to do some more. I word. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me pull this out and see if there's a note in it just to make sure that I know who it's from. I just got confirmation. Yep, it's from the four ladies who got me the ringer. Um, like in the last video, I told you they all got together and kind of planned amongst themselves what to get me. Um, so that is Teresa Pritchard, Donna B, um, Doreen, and Jeanette P, also known as uh, Grandma Nettie, and, uh, or Grandma Nett. Is it Grandma Nettie or Grandma Nett? So I, I'm going to see if I can get some more insulation up today. This is fantastic. You know what? I can't decide if I want to put it on this window or against that wall. Um because there's a lot of cold coming in from this window, but there's a lot of cold coming in from the front of the tiny house too, so I'm gonna have to think about that. Um, well, I just need to get to work. It's only about 10.30 a.m., but I'm gonna go out to the van and see if I can just get in there, slide in there without any of the chickens getting out and see if any of them have, you know, deposited, left me eggs. All right, this is gonna be tricky. All right, back girls, back, 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 back. Woo, it's warm in here. Back, back, back. Let me close the door. Door's closed. They still have plenty of food, plenty of water. I can't believe how warm it is in here. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Has there, are there any eggs down there? Nope. Excuse me. Any eggs? <gasps> I got another egg. Where'd the other fake egg go? Oh my gosh, I got another egg. <gasps> 10 30 in the morning. It's cold, so it's been out here for a while. Where'd that other egg go? That is so funny. 
There it is. You know what? I'm just going to leave. I don't think we need to. I think they kind of know what they're supposed to do. Right? I'm just going to leave one there. Look, I got another egg. Still a little bit small. The fake egg is the size of a normal egg. And that, that is out of one of my chicken's butts. I got another egg, guys. Advice time, guys. Remember this little chicken coop here that Miss Donna B gave me? Um, there's actually a divider that goes in there. I can divide these, these two boxes up, and keep both doors open to have two nesting boxes. Should I leave it like this, close one of the doors, or should I open both doors and have separate nesting boxes? Um, there is how it goes in. It goes in like this, so that one chicken can go through the other one if they want to. But the opening is kind of small, so I don't know. Um, just let me know your thoughts on that. Here's a little bit better of a shot out in the daylight. Um, the brown one is a fake egg, and the one on the left, the white one, is out of one of my chicken's butts. And it's slightly smaller. Um, that brown egg, the fake one, is the size of a, like a large egg. Um, so they're still kind of small, but you know what? They're going to get bigger, but it's plenty big enough for me. I can't wait to cook this thing up. And here's another example. The one on the left is a store-bought egg, and the one on the right is from one of my chicken's butts. So you can kind of see the, the difference in size. Yep, this is awesome. I decided to cook my very first egg just sunny side up, maybe. I don't know. Depends on if I can flip it. This is an old pan and I don't have a proper spatula. So in case you're wondering what that yellow stuff is, that's ghee and it's hard as a rock right now so I'm going to let it melt a little bit. And before I spread it, here we go. Ooh, that is a nice strong eggshell. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful egg. Look at this shell. Man, it is. This shell is hard. All right. I'm going to let it fry up. Let me get some pepper. A little bit of pepper. Where's my salt? Pinch of salt. I should have done this live. I really should have done this live, but I didn't. So, yeah, this ghee gets really, really hard. All righty. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful, you guys? Look at that beautiful egg. Spread this around a little bit, and then I'll flip the toast. Okay, <laughs> you, you all know how this is done. I'm going to finish cooking this and come back. Still cooking. I had to change the position of the pan because this egg was getting a little bit too much heat. I don't know if I want to flip it or not. I want the yolk to be runny, but I don't want the bottom to burn. All right, let me see if I can flip it with this fork. Here, maybe I'll use the fork and a spoon. All right, here we go. Oh, yes, I gotta get my plate because that's not gonna take very long to cook at all. This toast should just about be done. Yep, just about done. Let me feel the other one. This one actually needs a little bit longer. Okay, let me get this on the plate. And then let me get my egg. Oh, please don't lose any of the yolk. I did it. There we go. Can you see that? Because I want the yolk to be runny, at least pretty much. I might have the heat up too high. All right. A little bit there. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm going to eat every single last bit of this. All right, come on. Hurry up. Get done. Here we are, guys. I've got it. Toast is done. Let's see if the yolk, if I got the yolk right. Yes, I did. Just kind of over easy. 
Look at how yellow. <gasps> Look at how yellow that yolk is. I'm going to savor this moment forever. Oh, I hear something outside I don't want to be hearing. Okay, I'm going to take a bite. Let's see. I think I'm going to turn it this way and take a bite out of this. Oh, this is so glorious. Look at that yolk. Okay, here it goes, guys. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. These eggs definitely are more delicious. So much more flavor. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm just going to finish eating this. I won't make you guys sit here and watch me. Look at that. Mmm. <sighs> that egg was so delicious. Oh, my goodness. I cannot tell. I cannot describe to you how much joy this brings me. Not only did I get one egg, but now I've got another. And I got it early in the morning. So at 1 p.m. when I let them out, I'm going to go check and see if I've got another egg in there and um, hopefully I do. It's raining outside and it's kind of, yesterday I was able to keep them in the coop because I was out there supervising and I haven't clipped their wings yet. So, and I know Patsy flew out twice. I had to keep, you know, wrangling her, picking her up and putting her back in the pen, but um, it's raining outside. So I don't know if they'll try and get out or not. Anyhow, so I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you what. This video has gotten long enough. You'll get to see if I did the insulation or not in the next video. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next video. And Judy, too. See you, my girlfriend. <laughs>